work hard. You do a good job. You're nice to your customers. Why then must you suffer the headache of returns? Uh, excuse me, I'd like to return this Nintendo. Uh, who do I talk to about that? Tell you what, you'll need to go right back there to the electronics area and they'd be happy to help oh, you. Oh, gosh, you know, I haven't really got a lot of time. Could you take care of it yeah, here, please? I'd love to, but I can't. I need to send you to electronics right back there. They'd be happy to help you. All right, thank you. Hi there. What can I do for you? Uh, customer service sent me over um, to talk to you, to give this to you. Uh, if you take a look at it, I don't know what's uh, the matter with it. It was working, and now it's not working, uh, so I'd appreciate if you, uh, you know, take a look at it. I'd like to get an exchange for it, if I could. An exchange? Yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, do you have... Well, I guess I'd better take a look Why at it here. Why don't you take a look um, at it? Yeah. That's right. Thank you. Do, you. do you know what's on here? Uh, no, no. I mean, the uh, kids couldn't have done anything. I mean, they're good kids. Uh, yeah, sometimes they... they'll put you know, soft drink or something on there. And... No, no, no. It's not soda pop. I don't know... Uh, Certainly. It was fine. I would just. Uh, 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 I'd appreciate it if I had an ex exchange on it. I have a I, appointment. I got to get going. You know, I'd really like to help you out here, but I don't. You know, an exchange. Listen, you guys have been great in the past, and I'd. Uh, well, you know, you've always taken care of me, and I'd uh, well, appreciate could, an exchange. But you know, the warranty does specify that you have to keep it really clean because it doesn't work if it gets dirty. Some people will go to great lengths to return an abused or an out of warranty piece of merchandise. What are you supposed to do? Tell them what you really think? Of course, you can't do that. And how about the customer who tries to bully you into taking back something you know isn't broken? These guys are a real problem. You people amaze me. You really amaze me. Your quality control people, they just have bats in the belfry. Bought this Game Boy yesterday, took it home, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No picture. I'm pretty sure it's the EEPROM, so if you just want to take a look at that, I'd fix it myself, but I don't really have the tools, so I'll take my money back if you... I'm sorry you had a problem. There was nothing at all, huh? Nope. Well, let's see. EEPROM. Power on. Battery looks okay. There's the tone. And give it a moment. And... Got the music. Uh-huh. Here we go. I think this is probably the problem. Yeah. Just needed to turn up the contrast a bit. How's that look? Oh. Of, of course, the contrast. I think that was probably my, my, my kid didn't... Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it? Yeah. Okay. And what about the nice guys who actually have a legitimate problem? In many ways, they're the toughest of all to take care of. The controller doesn't work. Oh. I get, there's a picture, but there's no action. Probably I, I didn't read the instructions right. I, I, I'll just take a look here and see how it works. I didn't want to have to bring it in, but I just couldn't get it to work. And there you go. It's working now. Oh, look. Look, 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 sweetie, it's working. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm now, so Now, tell me, sorry. when you plugged it in, did you put it into port number one or port number two? I put it in port number two. Uh-huh, okay, well, pl plug it into number one. Because oh, if you put it into number two, it won't work. Oh. Oh, I can't no. believe That's it. That's a simple Something... mistake. I'm sorry, honey. It was really something... It's easy to see that all customers are not the same. But no matter what size or shape they come in, and no matter what kind of products they're bringing back, they all have one thing in common. They feel they have a problem. Now for the good news. Nintendo is doing something about it. Something that will make your job a whole lot easier. Could I, could I bring you a pie later? Last year, Nintendo of America sold over 90 million pieces of Game Boy, Nintendo Entertainment Systems, Game Packs, and accessories. Only a small percent of those products that were returned by your customers were actually defective. An excellent track record for a high quality product. That's why the seal of quality goes on every one of our products. In many cases, the customer simply failed to follow the simple directions packaged with their product. So they come running to you. And that's a waste of time for everybody. But what are you supposed to do? You're not a Nintendo mechanic, you're a customer service specialist. Well, Nintendo has the solution to this dilemma. Next time one of your customers comes into your store with a Nintendo product after you've sold it, you'll have the answer. How are you doing for you? Uh, well, I'm having a little problem with, I mean, my kids are having a little problem with the Nintendo system. <laughs> uh, All right, let's take a look at it and see uh, what the problem is. Uh, well, there doesn't, it just seems to be a solid color on the TV screen. Uh -huh. Okay, so you put the game in, fire it up. And it's, it's just blank, color. solid color. Well, does it look anything like... 
Either of these two right here. Oh, the blue one. By spending a few minutes reviewing the Nintendo Troubleshooting Guide, you can probably answer 90% of the questions that come your way. common problem, as you can what see there, it? it's a result of dirty connectors. It comes from, you know, not maintaining the equipment properly, getting uh -huh. a little dust and a little dirt in there. So what do I so do? So what you need to do is you need to use this Nintendo cleaning kit. It's really, it's just like cleaning the heads in your VCR. It goes in there, cleans up the connectors there, cleans up the connectors inside the game packs, you're all set. Back in business. That's all I need? That's all you need. Terrific. How but much is it? It's $11.95. Why don't you take this service brochure with you, too? It'll help you if you need to troubleshoot anything in the future. Okay. okay. And uh, if this gives you any more trouble like that, I recommend you call the uh, Nintendo World Class Service Consumer uh, Hotline. It's got a toll-free number there on the front of the brochure. Great. Or you can call the, uh, you know, the local service center. Their number here is 555-3700. Thanks, Jim. Hey, come back and see us again. Even when you don't have the time to spend with the customer or have the final answer, Nintendo's got the answer to the problem. We have a nationwide network of authorized service centers equipped to take care of your customer's product service needs. And in the rare instance where a product under warranty is malfunctioning, they will either repair it or replace it free of charge. And in all out-of-warranty situations, they will test the product on the spot and fix it at a minimal cost, all with no hassle to you or your customer. We will provide you with the name and address of the authorized service center closest to your store. Or you can refer your customers to Nintendo's 800 Service Assistance Hotline. Either way, you'll be able to give your customers the information they need to get their problems handled quickly and efficiently. And you'll spend very little time in the process. Most importantly, you'll save your company the high cost of handling unnecessary customer returns. And in those instances that you must exchange a product for your customer, always exchange like items, and of course, only what the customer returned. Be sure the entire product is inserted into the original complete packaging. If the customer doesn't have their original packaging, simply insert the components exchanged into a package taken out of your stock. Now your individual store may have other return policy requirements, such as obtaining the customer's original copy of their purchase receipt. So be sure to discuss these return policies with your direct supervisor or manager. Nothing could be easier. Nothing could be more convenient. It's total customer service, foolproof, and just about effortless. Special counter cards, on-package warranty information, and other collateral material will alert your customers to the simplicity of handling their questions or repair needs. Everything is clearly explained to avoid any confusion. The bottom line is that you keep your customers happy and you don't have to go through the hassle of returns. After all, our business is entertainment. We believe that everything connected with Nintendo, even customer relations, should be fun. The training kit is there to help you. When you have or are given some spare time, review it. There's no telling what you might pick up that will help you during the next occasion you have to deal with a customer return.